blue raspberry and black cherry. Yes. It was it's the stuff. It's the good mm -hmm. stuff. It really is all. Are we going? All right. Mm -hmm. Are we going? We are. We're live? Yes, we are live, guys. Oh, yes, Jordan. Uh, yep, it's live. And he's already walking. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's make a seat. Alright, we are live. Fantastic. Hello, friends! And welcome to this exciting episode of D&D &D Isekai, episode 6. <laughs> I was about to say, we're on 6, hun. We are on 6. Man, it's already 6 episodes already. My goodness. Now, we did have a two-week break. Time goes fast when you're having fun. What a hectic six episodes it was. Oh, indeed. Indeed it was. I'm just trying to get everyone back on there on Discord real quick. Let me. I think everyone's. everyone can see everything just quite fine. Make sure there's no lag. We're good. Yep, looks like we're good. Everyone can see each other very nicely. Good, good, good. How is everyone today? Doing very good. Oh, wait, were you, weren't, were you asking us? The yes, audience? I am asking everyone. How is everyone today? Jordan, Jordan, good. Well, guys, welcome to episode six. Yeah, I am Steven Stone, and joining me, we have a new some new, we have a new player for tonight. Isn't that something? Well, but then let's, let's introduce the ones we're familiar with, and we'll introduce this young lad um, to our wonderful cause here in just a second. So we have, from Twin Fusion Gaming, our, our very own... Bearsford. Hello there. We have the Telly Monster herself, the only girl for many generations on this channel, Talisha Miku Hitsune. Wow. And she meows. And finally, <laughs> joining us tonight, and for I meow with a peace sign. Meow with a peace sign. Joining this man, the the Afro himself, the legend. Is King Kassane, uh I believe is uh, what was your gamer tag? Dead Zone Gaming, Red Zone Gaming, Red, Red, Red zone, zone Gaming, Red Zone Gaming, King Kassane, and we're not even gonna give him his name yet because you guys won't know yet. <laughs> He's going to be joining this wonderful cause. Yes. So if you're excited for this episode because we are live tonight, we were not live for the past couple of nights, but we are live tonight. Hit that like button. Definitely want to show up and see the comment section. I want to see. Some reactions, some laughter, some questions, some, oh my gosh, what an amazing moment. Man, why does Beersford keep hitting things? Why does Miku keep hiding? And who's this man with the afro? Who knows what we're going to see tonight. But I know it's going to be a wonderful episode. So definitely hit that notification bell for more Isekai. And let's get started, shall we? So, last time we left our heroes, uh, they were going down the stream. They just defeated Metal Sonic. Uh, they used the, um, the gate... That they uh that arrived and they went through the portal, but um Eric kind of got a little greedy and grabbed a chaos emerald, right? Well, then he uh as going through the warp pad, Beersford disturbs the the flow of the chaos emerald, and Miku then goes for the goes for the chaos emerald all in the same time, y'all in the stream, and both Beersford and Miku just teleport away from everybody else. Basically, they probably use chaos control, and they uh. Warped themselves away from the, whole, the rest of the gang. Well, the other gang went somewhere to who knows where, and now they are both on a little, little tiny little um, little rowboat, right? With two English gentlemen right beside them as they're waking up on on, on a metro, on a bed of water. As these uh, two gentlemen with they look pretty fancy, and he goes, "Who the hell are you two? Where the did you come from?" <laughs> That's a good question. Where are we? You just popped into our boat. You gave us all heart attacks. 
Do you have any more bear aspirin? I do, my friend. I do have some bear aspirin. Here you go. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you, mate. The shirt's drinking. I was like, oh. Ah. Oh. All right. Blood pressure's pulse pumping. We're still good. Okay. Now, they pull their flat irons. They, 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 they're pulling out their guns. They're like, who are you? Well, who are you? We asked first. Hey, Dwayne. Yes, Robbie? The cat is growling at me. <laughs> what do I do? Um, I don't know. Let's ask the man who's not growling at us and see if we get anything else out of this. Um, <laughs> ex excuse me. Um, sir, I don't want to be, I don't rabies from your friend. Um, can you, I want to, I want to ask, can I... <laughs> please without mercy, what is your business here? Why did you appear on our boat? We don't have any much money. We're poor. You, you talking Where to... are we? Yes, yeah, so they're talking to Beresford. Oh, sorry. We just we 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 honestly have, have gotten days and thrown out this way. To be honest with you, so we're not exactly sure how we got here ourselves. Oh, well, you picked a we're fine time place. to be on our boat. Let me tell you, mate. I'm gonna need that bear aspirin. Give me a second. All right. <laughs> okay. What is bear? That is phenomenal drugs that are prescription, and then it's safe for you, and that's so you don't overdose. Then it's then it becomes an issue. But if you take it responsibly, it helps with heartburn, helps with stress, helps with the pain in different uh, different areas, and it's great for commercial ads. Uh, Anyways, heart pain. <laughs> It's not like this pink stuff called Pepto Bismol that gives headache, chest congestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. Yay, Pepto Bismol. <laughs> Anyways, that's beside the point. Today is the coronation of the young Empress. Empress. Yes, the young Empress is about to be crowned, and the the, the, the old Empress is stepping down, kind of thing. But you picked a fine time to be here during this ceremony. The security is so tight around here. Like, I wouldn't be caught dead down in the streets right now. We're, like, we're looking at you guys. You guys could get shot out right there in, in the, just in plain sight because of the way you guys look. No offense. None taken. You still haven't told me who you are. Still haven't answered. Still haven't um, answered my first question. You've answered my first question. I asked you before. No, I asked you first. <laughs> I said, where are we before you asked us what our name is? I don't want to tell you. <laughs> Captain, this. Remember, they don't. We're in it. We're doing for the this for the spires and everything. We gotta play by their rules for now, okay? I don't know where we are. Well, hang on, hang on. At least let me introduce. I'll introduce myself first and see if that will get us any. Wow. Any Bye. Terribly sorry about that, sir. Uh, my, my name is Bears for Ryland. Oh, finally, someone who uh has a little bit of manners. Ah, she's gonna bite me! Please, Robbie, anything, please! I haven't got my shots yet. I'm sorry. Oh. Forgive me. Uh, I I kind of freak out. I, d I don't like cats. All right. Don't, don't worry. Don't worry. She won't hurt you unless, well, you go to hurt her first. Uh, I guess that's a relief. Very well then. Uh, what, this is the place that you are entering. Is a fine place indeed, but it's run by a lot of um, 
Let's see. We've been entering a plague lately, and there's a lot of sickness going around. We're try That's why we're trying to interrupt the new empress, try to get her going. Maybe some things could change. We've been scouting all around these boats, trying to find cures for the, a disease that's been um, harboring the livestock of our people. And the rats are also infected. So when we try to give put cats out to stop the rats, the, the rats eat the cats. And the cats become very deadly. And I, I don't want her to become that way, so I'm taking precaution. Oh, trust me. I can be very deadly, but I'm not infected. What is this, what do you call it, plague? We don't understand the true nature of this plague either, to be fair. It's still a mystery to us. All we know is, like, if you get if you get caught sick or like that, you eventually start, your body starts deteriorating, you start losing your mind, and next thing you know, you, people are eating each other. What do you call it? We, we're just calling it the plague. Sounds very... Sounds very frightening, not gonna lie. Oh, it is. It's terrible. We get you. You, you don't go near the slums at all, because if you go into the slums, it's it's almost curtains. So stay away from the slums at all cost. Slums. It's like an alleyway and in, in into the cities. That's where all the rats are. They're the old places that most poor people live in. Very poor people live in. The voice that speaks to us is correct. <laughs> Whoever that is, it must have been angels to warn you. Please do not go into the slums. Dunwall is a very, very bad place to be at the moment. But look at this. Our conversation has led us to the pier. I guess if you want to figure this out for yourself, we've warned you. Please, exit the boat. Do your whatever business you have here. Please take care of any business, but stay away from the slums. Duly noted. Have a good day. And, Robbie, I'm getting my shots when we get off this boat. Enough with the shots, man. Come on, get some balls already. I can't... That's really a sensitive subject, man. You know one of them got cut off last week. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to. Oh, man. Look what I just did. I'll, I'll buy you a beer, man. Let's go to the tavern. How's that sound, buddy? Can I get extra fluff with my beer? Yes, you can get extra fluff. Okay. And they walk in. He's still sobbing. In and out. Can you hear me? Yeah, you're just breaking in and out. Okay, the man was crying about beer. Okay. <laughs> he likes extra fluff so you guys are on board you are in Dunwall they don't know us at all it's been a while since I've seen the game and everything so don't worry it'll, it'll come to my mind as we go along indeed um, do any of you want to do a perception check here in a brand new place alright Leading us off with that perception check. And here we go with that perception check. 22. Captain already starting strong on episode 6. Here we go. So, you see that the place looks old, right? The, the, the buildings are like grayish, right? There's black smoke coming from the chimneys. It looks like it. It looks like it just. It rains and rains and rains and like the whole like town is like full of mildew. Like it's gross. Like it's. Uh, you can see that the people like they don't look very healthy as they're passing by you. It looks like that their their skin like like they're hungry or they're. It looks like they haven't eaten or they've. They're just coughing. They're sick. They're walking through and it just. It's not a good time. And you see posters all over like these all these poles of an empress named Emily about to become emperor today at noon. We should go check this out. Yeah, probably be for the best. 
Down from the way, looking around yeah. here, though, we got to make sure we blend in. Well, if they're saying that, uh, rats are eating people, let's say there's not rats where the soon to be imports is. What'd you say? I have a question. What's the question? Is it night or day? You can't tell because of how dark and gruesome the place is. Yeah. That's how gruesome it is. You can't even tell. Hey, we have two people watching, guys. Stop! It's pretty okay. awesome. But we should probably try to, like, figure out how to blend in, I guess? Well, the best thing I can think of is to actually go to, like, maybe, like, a, a store or something and see if we can at least buy clothing that would match. That's what I was thinking, but I didn't want to, like, jump to countries and then say, let's go to a store. And then I have to, like, fight. I mean, you guys are very bright to compare to everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> no, just a full heads up, I've never played this. That's fine. It makes it more, yeah. more interesting for you. And to be fair, I have never played this either. I've just had to do a lot of research. Yeah, not me. <laughs> That's my job. So... <laughs> Technically, I haven't played this, but I have watched my brother play it a lot. I gotcha. I've never. Uh, so you're you're wanting to head to a store, right, and just check out some wares? Yeah, yes. we're gonna find a store. All right. So as you're as you're heading towards the store, right, um, you, on un unquestionably, because all the buildings like look the same, you pop in and there's this old grizzly man, right? He ha his one eye is about this big off his face, while the other eye is like this big off his face. He has his nose like it's coming out like Usopp's kind of thing, and there's like nose hair sticking out like this, and he's like he's missing like he has like every other tooth is missing, and his tongue looks green, and he goes up and he goes, "Well, howdy there." <laughs> My, oh my, you guys look fresh. Uh, thank you. Um, <laughs> that cat's got rabies. She's got the plague. <laughs> She's grabbing a, he's grabbing a gun. <laughs> Stay away I, from me. I stand, I, I stand. Have the plague. <laughs> Sir, calm down. She, she's fine. She's with me. Roll of deception check. This man is very unnerved. What am I rolling? A deception I check. I that intimidating. Sorry, I, I couldn't. I couldn't hear. No, no, you're fine. Roll it again. A deception check. Yep. Deception. Yep. It was that intimidating. <laughs> You gotta think. I thought, like, I thought it would be more like persuasion. Oh, oh probably, yeah, you're right. It'd be a persuasion check. You're right. I'm sorry. That's what I meant to say. Oh, crap. You critically failed. <laughs> the second time in a row you wrote a persuasion check and you critically failed. Okay, we're well, not Kylie or Eric here. <laughs> critically failed. Okay, she goes. I don't want to listen to your lies, scumbag! Move out of the way! I'm having cat! He's going to pull, pull it in kind of thing, and next thing you know, he says, Wait! I should do this more logically. If I shoot you now, I'm going to get the guards in here, and they're going to expect my place. And honestly, to be fair, my place is not the cleanest, if you know what I mean. So, I should, just, I should hire an assassin! That's what I'll do! And he runs to his desk. <laughs> On him. Hang on, hang on. I, I got one little plan. First of all, 
So since he's doing this, let me do an observation hockey right quick. Okay, go ahead. An 11. That's jet. Okay, you get a basic idea. So what are you aiming to do? You're just trying to see everything around you? I'm just trying to see like who, who all is like nearby, if anybody can see what's going on. There is no one in this building. This building has not had a customer in like 50 years. So it's just it's just him. It's just him. All right, I'm going to try something. If if Captain Miku is okay with this, I want to pound. The what? I want to pound. I want to. I want to use Conqueror's hockey to try to knock him out. Oh. So then. I mean, go for it. There we go. Use the conquerors. Just, just do it. I have a feeling yeah. he's not okay. that So, you can wave your conquerors hockey apart. And he's like, ooh, I feel something strange. It's a good thing I drank ten cups of coffee. Woo, what a buzz. You got that good stuff on you, don't you? Did I pass on him yet? <laughs> good stuff? What, what do you what do you mean good stuff? Oh you got that bob. Sir, I legitimately have no idea what you're talking about. I don't want a lot of time to talk to the likes of you. Beep 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 beep. Yes, you know, operator? I need an assassin! I don't care who! I'm passing! Alright, go for it. <laughs> Roll it. What do I roll? Just roll to hit. You're pouncing. Roll to hit. What do I roll? Uh, roll? How are you pouncing on? Like you're doing damage. You gotta just roll to hit. Make sure you hit them as you're pouncing. Just roll something. Just roll something. Okay. Well, what what dice? Um, you just do like one of your hit dice for like your claws. Okay. Oh, come on. Six. You hit you hit him. <sighs> you hit him. Go ahead and do the damage. Right. Do the damage? Yep. Attack clause is five. Okay. Uh, so you murder this man. What? <laughs> 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 You're like, Whoosh. oh my heart! Oh. He starts bleeding out, like, oh. Well, that didn't go as planned. And and then all all you hear is, is, thank you for, and all you can hear in the background is, thank you for choosing assassinations. Um, assass uh, we assassinate you. Our top assassin is heading your way. He demands payment. If you don't have payment, you will die. Click. Beep. Well, um, he's kind of already dead. Captain. Captain. What did you say, hon? Laughing. Oh. Uh, Captain, yeah. I suggest we get. I suggest we get out of here now. We heard, uh, Captain. This place sells pens and fuzzy dice. Sells so what? Now? <laughs> like feather pens and fuzzy dice, and odds and ends. It's like a antique store. There's nothing here. Yeah, let's, let's get, get out of here and try, try a different, different place. <laughs> Before. It doesn't matter now, let's just get out of here. I'm running on all fours. No! <laughs> and I'm doing my best to keep up. Barrett's just gonna try to run on all fours. He's like, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> 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 Alright, so, as we're running through, 
And all of a sudden, you start seeing it's like these royal guards, right? And you start seeing trumpets, and it's like a parade. And they're all like, it's like heading your way. Okay. Um, the door is locked. The door is locked. You are a rogue. I know. I'm like, I'm like, oh, God. Wait. Go ahead and uh, go ahead and do uh, um, your uh. Thieves tools, basically, or just do like a, huh? And then if I can see, because I'm rolling glasses in my hand, there's no way. Where is it? Oh, fast hands. Duh. Yeah. Um, go ahead and roll. Just hands check. Okay. Yep. I had to read it for a minute. <clears throat> oh, okay. Nine. Um, the, you're having trouble. You can feel the turbines, like, unlocking. But you can't unlock it in time. As then you see a royal guard, like, come right beside you going, Um, did you lose your keys, young lady? Happy. Dear. I'm, I'm like frozen. <laughs> um, ma'am, do you I live in that. this house? Yes. What is your name? Roll a deception check. He's not believing anything you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, your, your naming is Jewel. Okay, roll deception. Oh, that hurt. He's very undecided of what you're what like. Are right, is like okay, Jewel. Um, you know, this is my house. Come with me. And he's handcuffing me on Miku right now. Do you do you surrender or do you fight him off? Oh, I see. Uh, I see. Sir, we're we're terribly sorry. We're we're new in town. We were just trying to find our way. And we were actually trying to get out of the way of what seems to be a parade. We we didn't realize the storm was locked. And we were just trying to make sure we were out of y'all uh your way. We, we are terribly sorry. We didn't mean to invade or anything. Persuasion. Persuade this man. Okay. He sensed there's some genuine uh, in, your, in your eyes. He went, you know what? It is the day of our young empress... Uh, the Empress's daughter, Emily, about to sit to the throne today. <sighs> Very well. He he puts his handcuffs away, and he goes, I'm not going to let you off the hook yet. I don't know who you are. So you're going to stick with me. We're going to go to the... We, we're going to... You're going to keep an eye on you. We're heading to the Empress's um, ceremony. Is that clear? Yes, sir. All right, come with me. In the distance, you see, uh, well, you guys don't see, but a shadowy man is watching you from the rooftops. Uh, a, a, um, a shadowy man on the rooftops is watching as he's staring down kind of thing, His with a hood over his face. He, like, his eyes are piercing, and I believe the assassin from which was called is approaching. Beersford's Senses is going crazy. Uh, 
Like something is not right. I need uh, you to uh, roll me an another observation hockey check. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, Excellent. You know you're being watched, but you don't know by who because there's tons of people. And there's not good intent behind it. As you're walking down the road heading into the castle. I, I lean over and whisper to the captain. Captain Meeker, something is not right. We are being followed, but I can't tell who it is or where it's coming from. In my mind, I kind of want to yell assassin, but at the same time, I don't. <laughs> 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 the only thing I can, the only thing I can think of right now is to at least try to be aware of it keep track and not to draw attention so as you guys are walking towards you see the ceremony and everything everyone's gathered around and it's like this big old like I want to say this this little pillar right it has uh, it has a giant chair in front of it it's got look it looks like a butler. It looks, um, and a guy who has, like, a crown and, and like, a staff, kind of, like, frozen, where they're, you know, ceremonying Elsa, that kind of thing, right? Wow. You, you, got, you got people with books, you got choirs, you got guards, like, everywhere, like, royal guards. And uh, you just he you hear this old man going, Thank you, everyone, for coming out to Dunwall, to, we are now going to be having a new empress, because our, our, our empress now is retiring. And now she needs <laughs> a successor. The young 13-year-old Emily is now going to lead our people into the future. <laughs> Dies. Straight up. The guards, the guards are like running towards the old man and he's like, no pulse. I can't get a pulse. Someone come here for like that. And they're, they're doing like CPR, right? They're trying to pull him up kind of thing. And they find there's a dart in his neck. And they're like, it's sabotage, sir. What do you mean? And all the royal guards, I don't know where you've seen like that, all the magics are pulling out swords and they're just stabbing one another. Like, like they're just bloodshed is going crazy. The Empress and the young little girl, Emily, is like frightened. They're like, "What's going on?" Kind of like that, and they're all going crazy. And leading this assault is a dark, is the Dark Man, right? This man comes up, and then it's you, Keegan, as you're walking down the road, and, and like you just appear, you just poof, you just poof right in front of this Empress. You just approve right in front of this Empress. Can I dash? You want to intercept him? Yeah. All right. Miku's dashing, right? Okay. So you two are going to cross blades. Just... Whew, you just you stop this man from coming any closer to the Empress. And the, the, the Empress is going to you and like, What the hell? Thank you, cat girl. You're welcome. Who are you? I'm the Empress! <laughs> <I do. laughs> nice and kindness. I'd say it's a pleasure to meet you, but there's no point in saying hello to a corpse. Ooh, he's so good. <laughs> and I come dashing out and do my best to uh, at least keep an eye on the Empress and the uh, and uh, Emily. Yeah, like, okay. And so th th this man is coming at you, kind of thing like that. Talk as you're talking like that. All of a sudden, multiple different black individuals are coming at you at all different points of the, like you're surrounded, and it's and it's making this mystery man a little nervous too, because these are not his men. I'm going to share my screen now. What are his men? 
you, you, you'll have to, uh, you t t well, you have to ask him again if you don't know his name. No, what were his men? Oh, no, it's like, he looks nervous because he knows these are not his men. Oh, okay. I couldn't hear you because you keep breaking in and out for me, and I don't know why. So, everyone can hear me, right? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm gonna turn. Make sure you go all over. Let me see. I want you facing that direction, kind of. Nope, I like that. Other way. Other way. Okay, never mind. <laughs> so, as you can see, here's the battlefield, and these are all these men that are all around you. Uh. Uh, all we see is these. It's not showing anything. You, 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 you don't see the map at all? No, all we no, see is the we just pause this preview to save your resources. Interesting. Let me see what's going on on my end. Yep, I just, yeah, I, I see that only too. Let me see. Why is that? Oh, you know what? I think I know what. I think what's going on. Um, let me go into, let me go in here real quick. Let me share my screen real quick. Real quick. No, I was not satisfied with my stuff. <laughs> there it is. Here we go. There we go. So you are surrounded. Why are we so small? It's a, supposed to be a big area. That's why you're small. And so the, the others are going up to him. He's like, "All right, target acquired. We see, we see the Empress. Show no mercy, boys. Oh yes, and they're all, they're all, and they're, they're they're gathering around. What do you do? The little girl is crying. The Empress is scared for her child. Oh, you, you're not supposed to be there. My bad. And you're moved. There you go." I looked over to him. He was like, "Catch him! What? What should we do? We should need we... to save them. We need to I'm what? I'm not leaving this little girl alone. We need some sort of escape room. But what should we do? You could always ask the man who's probably lived here, that's in front of you." I, I turned to the, the mysterious rogue figure in front of us. What, what is your... Uh, what is it that you're doing here? I was brought here for an assassination attempt. Someone called. I don't know exactly yeah. who. Well, uh... Yeah, the, the guy that called you, uh, did need you, and, uh, it's not really on Uh... No. Bloody. So that means I'm not being paid. There's not much of a point in me being here then. Uh, as uh, as oh, if I continue, uh, as the fight, you go ahead. Hold on, sir. If you don't mind me asking, do you know like where the signal was for you to actually go for your assassination? It was a small short. It was a small store down the road a little ways. Uh, I saw a few people walking out of it, and then I saw a guard pushing y'all towards the main area. The Empress goes up to him and goes, Excuse me, young man, if you're not here to assassinate me or my daughter, I please, I will pay you lots of money. I cannot allow my the, the fate of our kingdom to... Uh, to, to these miscreants, I cannot afford to die. I will pay you anything. I will pay all of you anything that you desire. I'll get you what you need. Please, keep us safe and get rid of these hooligans. Ma'am, please, calm down. I have a, I, 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 I have an idea and I want to run by you three real fast. For you three real fast. Why did I say this? You two. Go on. Uh... What if we pretend that like, you caught us and you're trying to take us 
someone. Oh, like a staged, uh, a staged cat. Yes. That could work, if only they were my men. <laughs> Problematic. Um, begin battle. So, uh, the first thing we're going to do here is, uh, let me look at my notes real fast. Here we go. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Do we have any, like, smoke bombs? Um, as, uh, no, I'm, I don't have any more. I have my spells. Okay, hold on, where's my book? I have Warcloud. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. If necessary. Well, when it becomes your guys' turn, you can do that. So, what's going on now is uh, this guy right here that's hiding in the dumpster, he's going he's gonna to jolt right towards um, Beersford. And he's going to go ahead and go and try and go attack with his sword. And just try and, try and knock him out. The, 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 this guy will be known as Assassin Number One. Uh, he, he's gonna go, yeah, he's gonna go for his sword real quick. Where is his stuff? There it is. Rolls to hit. And he crits. Oh, come on. Really? <laughs> Off the gate. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, wow. Of course he would. Eight damage. How much? Eight. That's oh, and no. That's all. To Beersford? Yeah. Yeah, eight damage to Beersford. So he goes up there and he takes a slash at Beersford. <laughs> Beersford's like, Woof! like flying back. He's like, he's like, whoa, what the crap, right? He's like, oh, what's going on? And then um, this guy up here is gonna take a shot at th at the red, um, the, the the nicely dressed young man. Um, he's gonna take a shot at him with his crossbow. And uh, let me see. Here we go. And he critically fails and shoots the man instead who was attacking Beresford. Uh, -huh. uh with nine damage. He goes, Whoosh! he's like, oh, you call yourself an assassin. You can't even hit a bloody. He's entering the red coat. It's, he, he's legitimately, no, I'm not even blending in. <laughs> and you oh, inside, we're we're inside it. Bravo. <laughs> it's like, he's not even... Really, man. You, can't, you can't even hit him. <laughs> what? Do what? What do you mean, what? Why are you breaking in and out for me? I don't know. Everyone can hear... Is there, can everyone else hear me? I can hear you right now. Oh, right. I don't know, dear. So... Can anyone else hear him break in and out, or is it just me? It, it, it happens sometimes. It's a little bit stitchy, but... Well, regardless, okay, so this guy had his turn, so this guy's gonna take an anti he's gonna try to hit Miku instead. This one's gonna try to hit Miku, the one right at the top here. So he's gonna go and try, he's gonna try to use his, uh, crossbow. Uh, hit 20. I don't know where that is. Ten damage. Just pew, pew, and and uh and, and gets Miku. And now it's Miku's turn. You said ten, right? Correct. Okay. And now it's Miku's turn. Okay. We still don't know if it's light or day, right? I'm sorry? We still don't know if it's light or day, or night or day, right? Correct. Okay. I'm going to assume that you got these three in, that are in range of you. The others are not in range. Quick 
If you're going to climb, to, since you don't have any ranged weapons, Miku, you would have to use like your strength or your uh, acrobatics to like get on top of the building as an action. The, the guy that's like right by Beersford is it on the ground? Yeah, he, he's the only one on the ground right now. The rest are on buildings. Okay. okay. I and that will take an action, right? Uh, using it to get you climb yourself up there, yes. Okay. Um. Then yes, I will. Um. Any insight, you guys, to help her out? I would go ahead and... I don't really want to, like... Mm. No, per se. It would be possible for me to, like, help boost your up. I mean... You know what? That's fine. Is she gonna go like right? Is she gonna go like right here? Oh, okay. You wanna go this way? Yeah. Yeah. I mean that's fine. You also have the um the mage jump, spell jump. I know, I know, and that's like that's what I was like. I really don't want to because I have a certain amount of spell slot. No, if, if it was something like that, then I, I think it would be better if you use like, either athletics or acro acrobatics to get up there. Yep. Because, because of yeah, the way the game is laid out. Because of the way the game is laid out, it's easy to get up to like rooftops and stuff like that for assassinations. Yeah, because I only have like two spell slots, and I'm trying not to use any right now because we may, I'm, we may need them at some point. So, let me see. Uh, I, I'll go ahead and try, like, I'll go ahead and roll for acrobatics and go up there. Okay. Roll it. That okay. definitely succeeds. So, you'll go ahead and uh, climb up here. You'll go, you'll go, you'll go, you're now in range. There you go, you climb up there, you're using your cat-like reflexes, jumping off, you know, climbing up poles, putting your claws into things, getting yourself up there. You're good. Now what? Did that take a turn? Yes, that, that, that did take an action. Now, if it was just normal movement, like going across the street, no, it wouldn't. But since you had to climb up something, yes. Okay, that's what I thought. Um, I kind of want to use action first, but I kind of don't because I have no clue when I'll have a short rest. Well, you have another attack, don't you? No, I just have one attack. Oh, well, I mean, do you have any? Do you have any other bonus actions or anything? My bonus action is to uh, dash, disengage, or hide. Oh, you can't really hide on the rooftop. Yeah. So then, that's your turn. Yeah. Okay. So that being your turn, uh. There'll be two more assassins. They're gonna take. They are just gonna move. They're they're gonna uh, come up here and they're just gonna they're gonna jump down. They're gonna come over here and the other one's gonna come right here. And he's gonna try. He's gonna, he's, he's gonna try to shoot Miku from right here. Of course. He's gonna try to take a shot at Miku. 
Uh, that hits. 10 damage. That ends the turn. Uh, then that, uh, now we'll bring up Keegan. Alright, I've got a question. Yes. Uh, how far is, um, the rooftops? So the rooftops generally are, like, from, from your standpoint like that, they're generally, like, 20 feet. So, I could use blink on that, correct? You can. All right. I'll go ahead and do that then. All right. Roll to hit that. That'll be a set. Oh, shoot. So you roll a seven? Yeah. Which one do you want to move to? 14 to the hit, and then the... So, okay... You don't hit, but you you you, you 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 made it up there. So which one do you want? The one that's a, a here or here? Up or down? Um, up. So you you poof yourself over here. You're, you're not sneaking behind. It's, it ain't gonna work. You um you try to you try to come from behind, and he notices you, and he just blocks your attack. Yeah. He accidentally rolled for damage first, and that was the seven. So the to hit yeah. with the 14. Yeah, the 14 didn't hit. Okay. Just trying to make sure you understood. Right. So, yeah, he so he blocks it. He goes, whoosh. He's like, ah, oh, you're one of us. I see. And he pulls you away. Do you have any other actions? Um. Or anything else you want to do? Let's see. can't do anything else. Alright, that ends that turn. Uh, let's see who's next. It would be... After, it, is, it is Beersford's turn. Alright, then. Let's see. Um... I'm debating on whether I should attack the one that actually did some damage to me, or if I should fire the one that's, like, right in front of me. Right. Now, you got people all around you, yep. Surrounded. Recommendation. Deal with the closest threat one at a time. All right, then. I shall do. And I'm. Hmm, wait just a minute. Before I do anything, let me think. Let me think. It's right, this is where I need some background music. Give me a second. I'm going to get some background music. Oh! Oh, well, this is interesting. Oh? Do tell. Apparently, you know what? I'm going to un, un under, uh, unarmed strike the guy closest to me. Okay, go for it. Twenty-four. Oh, that hits. I do six damage to him. All right. So six damage. And guess what? And what's that? That was my bonus action. What did you do? Yeah, apparently my arm, now my unarmed strike is considered a bonus action. Oh. Okay. Which means... I now pull out my slingshot, and I'm going to attack the guy out in the middle of the street. Okay. You can do that. So this is attack number one. What made the other one a bonus action? It's actually listed under my bonus actions. Oh. Okay. Yeah. 
apparently my uh I, I mean I don't know why it's listed that way, but according to my uh me and my, my screen messed up on me. You're good. But uh yeah, I just happened to be looking under my uh my actions. And then under bonus actions, I have both the Hunter's Mark and the Unarmed Strike. Hmm. That's interesting. So I'm be, yeah, I will be using that to my advantage. All right, so I did connect with the hit, correct? Yes, correct. All right, so let me do the damage. Eight. So, yeah, he, he, he takes eight damage. Okay, that's the one that was next to you, correct? No, no, the, the unarmed, the unarmed uh, attack was the one that was for next to me. Oh, yeah, okay. So then the, the guy who is, that's furthest away, you're using your slingshot for? Yes. Okay, then yes, that hit. So then you did eight damage, right? Right. Okay, yep. I'm looking at your bonus actions, too. Let's see. That is n okay. I will allow it this time. Um, but it 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 is can set, can be a bonus action. You can actually attack. Um, let's see. Your bonus action with an unarmed strike is. It's not a bonus action. I don't know why it's listed under that. Oh, here it is. I, I see why. It says when you use the. Attack ob action with an unarmed strike or a monk weapon on your turn. Right, it's you considered can take one unarmed, unarmed strike as a bonus action. Yeah, it's like, it's like Fury of Blows. Oh, that's Fury okay, of Blows. Um, okay, okay, my my bad, I misunderstood. That. Well, well, you so uh, on, so on that first one, then you hit him to the eight damage. Now you can hit him again. Oh, well, then yeah, let me do that then. Okay, th 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 then roll ahead again. Roll the hit. Yep. That hits, now roll one more time. Because you get two, uh... When uh, you, you punch, or when you hit with an unarmed strike, Fury of Blows does that you get two additional unarmed strikes. Oh, okay. So, yes, so five, so five damage to him, okay? Now go ahead and do one more hit. Wait, what now? You get, if you land your first unarmed attack... Fury of Blows yeah. activates, and you get two unarmed strikes. I don't have Fury of Strikes, do I? Do you? Let me take a look. I don't think I do, because I don't see it. You do not. Okay, so that's just a regular bonus action, like you're like you're doing two weapon fighting. Okay, so then that's it for, for that action. Okay. Okay, so then all together 15. Okay, gotcha. Well, make sure because you, you, we're, we're dealing with a brand new stuff with you with Monk, so we're we're learning things. Yes. Okay. And then you you went to go attack the second the the fourth um the fourth assassin. And you shot him. and You hit for eight damage, right? That sounds correct. Let me double check on the on the rolls here. Yep, yeah, that's correct. Okay. All right. And is that in your turn? Yes. Alrighty. So, with that being said, uh, the other two assassins uh, that are under play, so uh, th th these guys, um, sorry, this guy and this guy is not fighting. They're spectating. So, uh, what this guy's going to do, he's going to jump down, and this one's going to actually go do a string check and try to jump over to the next, um, to the next rooftop. So we're going to go and do a strength check. He succeeds. 15. And he's going to jump right over here. All right. And that ends their turn. Th th now we're going back to the beginning of this fight. So right here, the man who's attacking Beersford is going to go again and attack with a sword. Uh, if I can get to my page real quick. Here we go. There's my page. Going to attack with his sword against Beersford. And 11, I'm assuming, misses. What was it? Eleven. Oh, that totally misses. That totally misses. He comes out here. Beresford's now more aware. He blocks. He's like, Whoosh. 
No, thank you, sir. Not today. Um, and then uh, that ends that turn. Uh, the other one. You caught me on the guard the first time. You ain't doing it again. Right. Now the other crossbow is is going to go ahead and attack Keegan. The second one's going to attack Keegan. Uh, with a ten. Ten. Does that hit your armor class? Um. Uh, no. All right. Then that then that misses. The third one is going to attack Miku. Sixteen. What? The th the one that's on the rooftop with you is gonna fire is gonna fire at you with the crossbow again, and is at sixteen. Actually, since it's so it's since you're close range now, that actually be disadvantage. Does fifteen hit? Fifteen. Yes. Uh, by one. Seven damage. Oh, it is Miku's turn. I get my well, that's what happened when you're surrounded. You're like, oh my gosh, what just happened? And these are assassins. They're not going to be easy to kill. That's another reason why I buffed you guys. It wouldn't be any fun if it was easy. Oh, indeed. In the life of an assassin, the little things are what you enjoy. Small difficulties are the greatest. So what do you want to do, Miss Miku? You do have a bonus action where you can use second wind and gain back some health. Kylie is watching, guys. Oh, yes, lovely. Joyful, I think joyful. totally just acted out. You can't hear me or something? No, it's... No, he and be on. What's it doing? Okay, there we go. Had a, so as the DM, I can suggest since you're not used to using your new classes, you could because a bonus action would not would not use her as a normal action. You can use your uh, second wind to get some HP back if you like. That's what I was about to look at. I had to refresh my page because it was acting up. Okay. I couldn't look at anything. It was saying that I was going to it, but I couldn't see a thing. I got gotcha. you. Okay. So, uh, what do you want to do? Uh, that would be better. Now, you also do have two weapon fighting. Your claws do consider uh, as a as a two weapon fighting. Yes. So you actually can hit yes. twice, not just once. Yep. You can attack with your sword one time, and then you can attack with a claw the second time if you wanted. Yes. Uh, I will be doing... Uh, will you stop going to actions? I am already in actions. My gosh. Sorry, my thing is just acting up on me. It's all right. Uh, I am going to use second one. Okay. I need to roll 1d10. Okay. Plus 2. 5 plus 2, that's 7. 7 HP back. Not going to help much, but it helps a little. Um, and... I will be doing my. Wait, is two weapon fighting a bonus action as well? Yes, that is a bonus action. So when you do an action like that, you can attack again with a, um, another like short range weapon, which is your claws. Okay, I, I was about to ask about that because I see it under 
bonus actions like this on my top saying two weapon fighting. I'm like, wait a minute. Yep, and that is the bonus of having okay. a being a fighter class, um, so. Yeah. Okay, so can I do some get through and then I. Yes, uh, you can do that. Two, two weapons? Yep. Okay. Okay, let me look at the map and see. The dude's right in front of you. Okay. I, I, I just couldn't remember. You're fine. I have to go back and forth, and that's kind of aggravating, but... Okay, roll the hit. Just stay on your page. You don't have I to go back and... Right now. So go ahead and roll the hit. I got a one plus seven. So an eight. You quickly fail. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You go to a... Okay. Cool. So, um, this is what we're going to do then. Um, you go to attack him with your sword. He misses, and you fall off the building. Oh. Take oh. 1d4 of oh. damage. Oh! No. Just, just do one. Please, just just let in on one. I just want you to land on one. Oh, of course, three. it'd be three. <laughs> Still true. Uh, Mickey was having the worst day ever. How how are you looking on health? Thirty two out of forty five. Mm -hmm. That's not too bad. No, but okay. Can I do my well two weapon fighting on this guy? That's like yes. You you yeah, you, you can rush him and go for it. Yep. Okay. Roll to hit. Oh, now I'm getting a good roll. What was it? Uh, oh, yeah. Then, yeah, you hit. That's five damage, right? Yeah. All right. Awesome. Hey, you need your guaranteed five damage in bonus. That's pretty nice. Uh, and then I'll do you, my other hand. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. One action is your sword. That's your first weapon. Your second weapon is your claw. Oh, okay. That's what that is. Okay. So that should be it for that. Now you can you can action surge if you like. Yeah, I'll give me just a quick second, right quick. No, oh, you're fine. I'll be right back. Oh, no, cause, well, uh, yeah, no, I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'll wait to use that. Alrighty, so the guy you are attacking right now, is they going to be like, oh, you bloody wanker, I'm going to go ahead and just, I'm going to take you out, little kitty cat, straight to hell. And he, he goes up there and he, uh, takes his sword, I was going to swing it at you. Uh, for ten, I believe that misses. Yes. All right. So then he misses. They'll catch you a break. It looks like. Um, the one on the other rooftop is gonna take a shot at you though, because you're in range. Okay. Well, you're in range. <laughs> they fight. They're assassins. They're firing from the rooftops. This is what they do. So, uh, gonna fire their crossbow at you for eleven, which I believe misses. 11 to hit, yeah, that misses. All right, and that ends that turn, and now it's Keegan's. About time I don't get hit, dealt with freaking 10. Um, the guy on the rooftop is still uh, within range, right? Oh, yeah. Five feet. Oh, yeah. Five. All right, then I'm going to go with my unarmed strike. All right, go for it. 27. Uh, that definitely... Um, hold on, let me, let me make sure real quick here. Uh, what you, you crit. Oh, yes. So, yeah. Lovely. So, what is, your unarmed, what is your unarmed strike damage? Um, 2d4 plus 6. Yep, go, go ahead and roll it. Wait, does he hold it to do the uh, crit damage? Yeah. 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 So yeah, that, that automatically goes to correct damage. So he does nine damage to this fool. He just you, you just probably sucker punch him. He's like, pop. He's like, oh. 
It's a big old wallop. Um, do you have any bonus actions? I have the Fury of Blows. Oh, then, yo, yeah, you land a hit, so go ahead. Hit again. Hit. That hits. Eight. Do, 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 no, roll the hit one more time. Eight. Okay. Eight. That one quickly fails. It so, critically failed, so second time. Go ahead and do the damage for the first one. Seven. Good damage so far. That man's just getting punched, right? Um, so let me go ahead and let me put that damage in real quick. So the, so the one, the number two, is gonna, he's getting punched for a lot, right? He's uh, he's not feeling too hot. He's like he's like, oh, oh, oh. like he's, he's getting beat up, and the other one you tried punching, and he dodges and he grabs you. I need you to roll me a uh, a strength saving throw. Strength save. Right after I roll my strength check. Eleven. You, you fail. So he grabs you, and now he has you in, in a hold. So like a neck hold or... Uh, uh, like, like, he's... Yeah, like, 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 like a half Nelson. Okay. He's got you in a half Nelson. He's got you grappled. Um, this is now Beersford's turn. All right, so the one that's next to me? Yep. Unarmed strike. All right. We're just punching today, boys. We're punching boys today. Well, I'm punching. Two of us I'm punching. Keegan, do you have uh, two-hand fighting, like two-weapon two fighting? All right, 17. In your bonus actions, real quick. What? My bonus action one. Like, uh, Keegan, since you're a monk as well, do you uh, have the, uh, in your in your bonus action, does it say two-weapon fighting? Uh, it's there, uh, okay. right above the blows. Yep. So, uh, go ahead and roll for another hit, real quick, before I before I get you grappled. Because you are, because you are two hand fighting, you are using in one action. You are using two hands. So you're doing one wall up, and you're going to do another wall up. But the uh, uh, um, so so both yours hit, Beersford. Yeah. Um, but for us, I need also uh, Keegan to roll me one more unarmed strike on his real fast, because he because he, he 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 still hasn't learned um, he doesn't know about the uh, his bonus actions on his hits. Okay, so nine misses, so it so doesn't make a difference. Okay, so both of yours hit beers first. So go ahead and do your damage on both. All right, first damage. Oh, that's the wrong one. I'm sorry. Yep, that's the slingshot. Thank God, that's the wrong one. There you go. Five and the other one. Seven. Seven. Okay, so good damage. Got twelve damage on him. It increases by two each time. Right, well, just boom, boom, boom. <laughs> yeah, that's so awesome. <laughs> it's like boom, boom, boom. So yeah, this guy's taking taking some blows. Not gonna lie, he's he's taking some blows. Uh, that is your first action there, Beersford. You know what? I just want to go over and try to finish this guy off. So, another unarmed strike. All right. Punch away. Miss. Whoa. Do one more. For the bonus? Yep. Ooh, that one hits. Board. That one hits. But you get no multiplier for this. And damage? So you, you don't get the plus three. So you two damage. Okay. So you basically you chip shot him a little bit. You just chip shot him. Give him a little nudge. I caught him with my elbow. There you go. You caught him with his elbow. There you go. So... The other, so the other assassins are seeing that you, um, you guys are not doing too too well with them, and whatnot, and they're kind of like, you know what? Ah, uh, we don't need to be a part of this right now. They're backing up. Yeah. And that one left. Which one? 
All right. That ends that, that ends all theirs turn right there. And now it's the one that uh, that's uh, that attack Beersford's turn. Um. So uh, now he, he he's gonna go ahead and try to slash Beersford. He's like, why won't you just die? Ten. Mrs. Beersford. He goes on there and Beersford just like taking, he just, he just blocking. He's like, Psh! like just like, you ain't doing jack to me. Uh, one's going to attack, uh, the other one's going to attack uh, Keegan here. So w w w with a sword. And he, oh, he, uh, he would have advantage anyway because uh, he has him grappled. So he's going to take the sword. Psh! As he has one grapple, he pulls out a sword on one hand, so he's got him grappled. Gonna come in. And stab him right in the side for eight damage. Ooh. And then the other one is going to... Uh, let me see. So the third one, since he's uh, up here like that, he's gonna, just gonna take, a, he's gonna take a pot shot at Miku. They always, they, they, they always aim for Miku in this regard. They, they're always aiming for you. So they're going to do that crossbow. Yes, yes. 17. Yes. Six. Uh, Alright, it's Miku's turn. What does Mickey want to do? You're okay, buddy. Go back to sleep. Yeah, the, uh... My boy is crying. I think I accidentally woke him up. Okay. Uh, oops. Is that... Is that one guy still in front of me? Yes, he's still right in front of you, yes. Okay, I'm not looking at the map. That's okay, that's fine. Okay, I am going to... Um, try to hit him again with my Zargesser. Okay. Miss. You you that? miss. Yep. Oh. Cat claw. Yeah. Roll hit. That misses as well. Ten. Now you are on the ground. You can hide now. Where? Well, go ahead and tell her where she could possibly hide, guys. I can't see the map. I mean, back and forth. I mean, it's pretty open. Yeah, but there's like a lot of dark alleyways and stuff you could hide behind. I'm saying like, probably, this is probably the better place to hide. Yeah. There's a in the left alleyway. Right, give me a stealth check. Why do those boxes have to be like that? Wait, can I hide in one of those? Or is that the entryway? I mean, you could go. If you want to hide underneath those boxes, you can. I don't care. Go ahead and see it. Just roll me a okay, stealth check. Yeah, that's, that's where I want to go. Okay. Just roll that stealth check real quick. Okay. There we go. 18. 18. That's successful. So they do not see you. You dash out of there. And you're hiding behind these boxes. I'm going to make you invisible at the moment. Because you are invisible. They cannot see you. You are you, you are quite hidden. Okay. So then the assassin right here is going to go, um, wait, where'd she go? Uh, no matter. He's going to run over here and he's going to come up to Beersford. 
And he's like, surrender the Empress now. He's, he's talking to Beresford. So he's he's got his gun armed at me. Yeah, he's got he he he, he he's got uh his crossbow at you. He's like, surrender the empress now. What do you want with the empress? Dead. My word! Why would you want your empress dead? Shut up, hag! Take, takes a warning shot at her feet. <laughs> Move. We are never getting up. The Emperor. Yeah, you, yeah, you're going to have to go to the knee first before you can get to the Emperor. Very well, then. Takes his, uh, his bow. Going ahead, he's going to take a shot. Seven misses. He's like, well, blimey. What is this man? He's inhuman. We can't hit him. <laughs> I just look at him. I was like, ah, ah, ah. Is that the best you've got? This man right here is going to go ahead and uh, do another strength check to jump. He's he's he's, he's, he's going to try to uh, um, pop himself over there. He does not succeed, so he falls to he falls in in between the cracks and takes one d four of damage. Four damage. Oh, so so he smacks into the wall. Yeah, he's like, oh, and he falls in there, knocked prone. So he knocks himself prone, and uh, he's going to basically, yeah, he he got his falls in over here. He just oh. knocks himself in the wall, and then that gives us room for um, Keegan. So, do I need to do another save? Uh, yes, you need to do a strength save to get yourself out of it first. Or, or, or you're stuck. A twenty-three. I don't think he's out. I, I don't think he's gonna beat that. Nope. Yes. I so am. you are you are free, and I'm gonna give you. Uh, uh, and it's because you've bolted out, he's like, oh, he's caught off guard. I'll give you advantage on your attack roll. Let's see, what do I want to go ahead and go with? I think I'm just going to go with another unarmed strike. Alright, go for it. Do that unarmed strike. Head away. Pound it. 13 right, misses, there's... but you have advantage. Okay. So roll, just roll it again. Okay, same roll regardless. So that first hit misses. Do uh, what you want to do is just hold down, uh, your unarmed strike. You'll get a thing where it'll say uh, advantage or disadvantage, and then roll. So you still have advantage, so go ahead and try again, because I know you have a... Right there it is. 18 hits. Go again. Yeah. So then, then you'll get your Fury of Blows as well. So I roll again to hit? Or do I uh, yeah, hit? The, for your Fury of Blows. Roll again to hit. Roll. That misses one more Fury of Blows. That also misses. Misses. So you, you, only, you only get to punch him one time. Yep. And nine damage. I hit him. You hit him for nine. That's not terrible damage. All right. So you're wearing these guys down. You're definitely. You're, you're, you're definitely. These guys are. Are beefy. They're not. They don't go down without a fight. They don't go down. Um, and now it's Beersford's turn. They're serious about when, killing this empress. 
All right. Well, I'm going to one uh, unarmed strike the one that I've been fighting. Beer's first going to be surprising his his boxing today. <laughs> He's going in. He's going in for some punches. <laughs> Monk, isn't he? Yep, he's a monk. Eight misses. It could be in, in martial arts, the hand to hand. It could be Tai Chi. It could be Taekwondo. It could be Jiu Jitsu. Roll your That's bonus action. Which eight misses. All right. So now for the bonus action for. Yep. Right. Yep. That 18. hits. Go ahead and do your damage. Do I get the bonus for this one or not? Uh, you do not. So that's two. All right. Well, I'm going to try it again. Okay. That hits. Bonus action. All right. Let, uh, yeah, let me roll the bonus action one. That misses. So the first one, you, you, you get the full attack. Okay. Seven. So twelve damage to this man. So you go, you you you're walloping him like pull oh, pull. Oh. You are starting to see this man bleed a bit. He's like, oh my gosh, you guys are insane. Don't you ever give up? Why can't I hit you? And I just look just like you want to go some more. <sighs> I'd rather not. Men, take out the one in the blue coat. Screw the cat. Very well. And uh, the guy's like, um, I'm a little pro at the moment. I can't get up. I'm going to lay here for a minute. I'm done. Oh, useless, I say. Lose useless. Fine. You know what they say. If you need a job done right, you do it yourself. And, um, he takes his sword. He's going to try to swack at Beresford. Wait. Th so wait. This this is the uh, the guy that's attacking me. Uh huh. That's been attacking me and the yep. one that I've been attacking. Is yep. saying is like, if you want a job done right, you gotta do it yourself. Yep. And he's just missing. Say. Oh uh, yes. So the guy that said, "Oh, if you want a job done right, you gotta do it yourself." Correct. Is the one that's been trying to attack me for the past what five turns? Now? Yep. Is that correct? That's correct. And yet he just missed again? He just missed again. I want to look at him and he was like, he's cracking my knuckles. He's like, well, obviously you ain't the right man for the job. <laughs> Curses! Why can't I hit you? This is so infuriating. Embarrassing me in front of my men. Yeah, the, the little Emily is going, Mama, why does he suck at his job? <laughs> and he's like what was that young little girl I mean come on he's been punching you like every other hit you haven't landed like one blow since you just surprise attacked him ever since then you haven't hit Jack I was like you really second do you get paid minimum wage to do this you insolent child I'm going for your throat next I don't think so the guy in front of you is like not going to let you budge and you can't even hit him so there's no way you're hitting me insolent child <laughs> men kill the girl <laughs> kill the blue kill the man with the blue cape the blue, the blue jacket he must die the empress must die I mean uh, very well, sir. Uh, I want to move over here real quick. Take a shot. Right at Beresford. They're taking shots now at Beresford. They're all going to aim at Beresford now, except for the one that's got, um, no, um, the, yeah. Yeah, the one that's de dealing with Keegan. He, he, he ain't going to do anything. Uh, he hit to a 20, and that misses. That misses. That one comes close, right? He comes in, he shoots. And, like, the bullet, like, grazes Beersford's cheek. Like, went... Hang on, hang on. Wait a minute. Did you say close range? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, far away. Uh, close... Uh, with a crossbow. Fires, fires from the rooftop, and, like, the bolt just, like, grazes your cheek. Like I dodged it the last possible Right, just... 
So that one was the closest to being to hit you. You were like, oh. Well then. <laughs> yeah, well, that one. You're next. It's like, now he, the, the, the guy who's on the, on the way fighting Keegan's, he's going to go, it's like, oh, you know, I'm going to kill you now. I don't know care what that. He's going to take something. He's going to take a jar. He's going to dump it on his sword. And there's like a green looking liquid inside it. On top of it. Yeah. You ain't going to last much longer, buddy. Twelve. Does that hit your armor class? Keegan. Uh, it does not. So he misses. So he swings at you. You dodge gracefully. I'm assuming now you're more cautious because now you have this. You see that he's done something. He's tainted his sword. Out of desperation. I wish I would have done what I have had it planned at the beginning for my spells. Um, that will then give us to Miku, who is now hiding. Who can get a sneak attack on this guy? Or this guy, who's prone. So you can attack the uh, the guy who's highlighted red, who's right by Beersford, everybody. But you'd be in, you'd be in range of everybody's attacks, or you can attack the guy in the alleyway who fell and hit and hit, hit, hit the building. And he's prone. He's on his back right now. Okay, I probably don't. You're gonna attack him instead. Yeah, the prone guy. All right, so sneak attack. Go ahead and do your sneak attack on him because you're going to fly through there. And she should have advantage, though, too. And you have advantage on your on your attack, yes. Oh, well. Well, sneak attack automatically does damage because you're not, he's not going to see her anyway. Nine. So nine damage oh. to him. So whoosh. Susses him in there like, oh. Oh, and now you have advantage on all other attacks now. Oh, crap. Uh, I said that you have advantage now on other attacks on this dude. Awesome. Okay. Because he's prone. Uh, okay. So if you want to use your sword against him, you could. And you do have Electro to boost your attack. You are just reading my mind. <laughs> All right, we'll do that. Yeah, I am going to put the electricity around the death All right, roll to hit. With advantage. Fourteen still misses. I. Um, you want to use your action surge? He's prone. You need, you need to hit this guy. I don't know. I mean, I keep missing. I mean, you're, you're, you're going you to go back and hide and he's prone, or are you going to try to hit him, or you, that's it ends your turn? Seems like the only way I can hit him is with my cat claws, and that's even like... Dowling right now. Why am I? Ooh. Well, try try your try with your cat claws and see if uh you can put electro on that. That I mean, you, you, I mean that is still with two up in fighting. You can still do it. With advantage, right? Right, with advantage. Still miss. Well, you ain't hitting. Unless you're going to use action surge and try again. You're not hitting. What a terrible... Like, you hit him with sneak attack, but if you're up him close, you can't hit him at all. I know, this is so He just, like, run up and start screaming. <laughs> He's like, oh, gosh, cats! I'm afraid of cats! <laughs> He's just, like, touching. He's like, kitty cats, please don't hurt me. And you're going, meow, 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 meow. <laughs> you're trying to, you're scratching him. He's like, no, 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 no. Right, let me try action surge. 
All right, try to do it again. With advantage on Zangetsu. Um, do you have champion? Champion? No, I don't see anything about that. Okay, so yeah, 26 hits. Do your damage. Your zone gets you damage. Okay. Oh, uh, if I'm adding electricity to it. You'll hit. You'll do Zangetsu damage, and then you'll do a. Then you'll do a separate electro. Okay. Is the damage with advantage? No. Just, just do the damage. What? Just do the damage. No, no need to hit. Just do the damage. All right. Nine. Uh, now, 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 do electro. My T went cold. Sad. Two. Two, so eleven. Ele eleven damage on that hit. Now do your cat claws. With advantage. Really was the stupid dice roll was it in my way? Twenty two hits. That's five additional five, so that's sixteen damage now. Do you want to do electro again? Yeah. Okay, do it again. Three, so that's eight. eight. So you've done a, a maximum. So it's eleven plus eight is nineteen. Nineteen damage this this guy on your turn. Do you go back and hide? Yeah. Okay, go, ro roll me a stealth while I'm doing the damage. Nineteen. Okay. Yep. You're gone. It is now Keegan's turn. Meow. And this dude's like, oh, I know I hate cats. Why, is they, why are they shocking me to death? <laughs> I hate cats. Darn pussy. Come at me again, I swear. All right. I may need to hang up and re-enter because you are breaking in and out. Okay. Okay, in your turn. Yeah, one sec. Uh... I... Things will happen when you just kill one assassin. You just, you just gotta kill one assassin. And the rest will flee? And the rest will flee. Okay. Or things will happen. I'm going to cast uh, Shocking Grasp. Cast Shocking Grasp. All right. Now, what does that do for you? Is lightning damage. Okay. And, um, yeah, it's, um, you have to do a five, uh, a plus five save on willpower. I'm going to look, I... look at your character real quick. Oh, uh, let's see. He's a guy. There you are. Me, 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 me. So you are doing th the shocking grasp. So plus five. Yeah. So it, it is just to hit. There's no DC. Okay. So yeah, you, you you're just gonna you're gonna try to shock him. Okay. So yeah, just just roll to hit. All right. I just wanna make sure it wasn't anything else. Twenty-five. You tw twenty-five. That's a crit. Ready. You crit this man. Alright. So I roll the D8. And I get 22 crit. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Hold on. Why can I not? 
Well, 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 why can I not see your rolls? It's weird. Let me refresh. Refresh. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so 20, yeah 25 hits. So, oh, okay, yeah, so you do 25 to hit, hit, hits, yep. So then they hit, so 22 damage, this thing. So you just shock this man. He's like, as you have him, he's like, this is like he's just, you can see the smoke coming off his body. He's like, oh, so gosh. Done. This is crazy. And blood is starting to come out, come off his pores as he is literally at like 20% HP. Like that, he's, that he's, like he is almost, he's almost done though. Go out to the pitch. It's like, you, uh, you can't do this. Who are you? As he's, as he's being shocked. Is there anything else you can do? Um, that uses my action, doesn't it? Yep. Uh, that uses my action, so I'm done. All right, then now it's Beresford's turn. All right, time to keep practicing my punching bag. It's, it's, it's time to keep on punching. I was like, I, I, I the tiger music. I would be, I would be sniping at this point, but the thing is, some of the enemies are too close to me, so I'd rather just punch them while I got the chance. Right, just pumble them. Pump, 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 pump. This is this is, a, this is the first ever street brawl we've ever really seen in the series. So there we go. I crit. You do crit. Holy cow. Okay, go ahead and roll your uh. Your bonus action, real quick. I right, have the bonus. Okay, the, the bonus misses, so go ahead and do your crit damage. Seven. Seven. So you slug them. You're like, pull! And, that, and then that's your first action. Now for my second. Miss. Thirteen. That one misses, so then the second one will not have its bonus for damage. Okay, so that one hits, so the, it, it's, just, it's just straight damage. So the, the 1d4. Alright. 8. 8. So just, you go over a punch and you're like, eh, I don't like, I don't like the number 7. 8. <laughs> Little elbow shot, like yeah, I don't like that number eight. Okay, so I will say the roof number, the guy who Keegan's fighting and the one Beatrice fighting have the exact same HP. <laughs> you more guys are equally damaging these fools together. Yes. <laughs> just, like, just like you guys, my able to just kill all these guys. To be fair. <laughs> eight um, on one. Eight on three. So, the guy who's, like, staying up here, would tell you, he's like, oh, you know what, I've had enough of this. He takes that, uh, that stuff, and he starts putting it on his crossbow. This green liquid stuff. And he's gonna, sh he's gonna try to shoot the Empress. With this. This is a chance. Because the Empress does not have an armor class. See, this dude is getting desperate. He needs to try to try to take care of the Empress. If it's an even number, he hits. If it's an odd number, he misses. Because he's this close of range. Here we go. Even. So she, she, oh, she gets hit. She's like, oh, what is the, what's going on? Oh, she's not dead. But something has injected her. She's like, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you. I have to have the gas in front of the Empress. And it seems like nobody heard me. Uh, you, 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 all, all right, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead and dash. Like, so, do, 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 so you, you want to get hit with this? I don't want the Empress taking any damage. 
All right, Miku is now uh, Miku jumps, goes Meow! right, dashing to take the reaction, and then now Miku is now poisoned. So the members is like, "You brave girl! You didn't have to do that. I don't even know you." Wait, hang on, hang on. Let me let me ask one thing since I didn't ask you. So which one shot? This one right here, the one that's glowing. All right. So the one that's on the the one that's currently highlighted in blue. Yes. So Miku takes the, the shot instead. Now, on Miku's turn, she'll have to uh, do some rolls. Um, in the meantime, uh, it is now Miku's turn. So, Miku, um, because now you are poisoned, um, for you not to, to get the effect of this poison throughout through the rest of your turn, um, you will need to roll me a... Um, I, I, I want to say... Uh, a charisma, a charisma save. Steven, I do have one quick question. Yes. So what about the the guard that I've been fighting, the assassin that I've been fighting? Does, does he not... So the guard... Turn? Um... Oh, right. It, it, that's true. It... it, it it is, his, it is his turn. This is just more of a sneak attack to cause drama. But now, it, it, you're right. You are, you are you are totally right. I am totally, totally sorry. Yes, it would be the other guard that's fighting you now. I'm, I want to say his turn. He calls his man to go shoot to shoot the Empress. Oh, okay. That's going to be his turn. So, now, but instead of shooting the Empress now, he shoots Miku. And the other one's like... He doesn't even know how how, how to attack. He he he's breathing heavy. He's 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 shocked. He's stunned. He's not even gonna do anything to Keegan. He's like, oh, and now it's Miku's turn. So Miku, roll me a r roll me a uh, a charisma save. Fourteen. That's not terrible. Roll me one d ten of poison damage. If you would have failed it in one d twenty of poison damage. Wait, what? One d ten is a uh, is six is a successful poison uh, is a failed po uh, is a successful save. A failed save would have you would have rolled one d twenty. Eight damage. Now it's your turn to move. What would you like to do? The Empress is thanking you, like, dear girl, you don't look so well. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Let me just heal myself with my tears. Um, you do have those potions, correct? Well, uh, from you got from Tails, because you didn't yeah. use them? Yes, I still have both mine. You want to use that? Yeah, so that I will. Alright, so 4d4s plus 4 of HP. Eleven plus 4? It's 15 HP. 15. So you got 15 back. And that ends your turn. So, um, now, uh, it is the other guard, and knowing that Miku is, she, this guard knows that this, this assassin knows that Miku is not going to make it. She's like, the girl's dead. I'm coming after, I'm coming after this man right here. He's coming after Beresford. Gonna try to take him out. He's gonna try to use his, uh, and he's gonna wipe the, the stuff on his sword. And he's like, th th we've had enough. Coming in. 22. Son of a gun, finally somebody hits me. With poison damage, mm -hmm. taking hitting you with 7 damage. Inflicting you with poison. No, it's not as bad as Miku's. Um, 
Well, no, it's the same stuff. So no, it's the same things. So you have, you have to do the same th roles. So, uh... I love how it's like, well, son of a gun, finally somebody hits me. Finally somebody <laughs> hits me, jeez! It is now Keegan's turn. Alrighty. I think I'm good, since I used the um, shock, so I'm going to go back, and I'm just going to do an unarmed strike. Do an unarmed strike on this fool. Alright, go for it. Alright, I got a 17. That hits. Go ahead and roll your bonus damage. I mean, uh, your, uh, your, your, your bonus hit, so do another unarmed strike. Yep, if your blows. 13, 13 misses. Do another one. 16 hits. 16. Go ahead and do, um, go ahead and do some damage from both for both for both hits. All right. The unarmed strike is gonna be eight. eight. What's the fury of blows? And then the fury of blows is going to be ten. Ten. This man dies. Yes. Let's go. This man dies. So Keegan is the first to kill him. There you go. So, as you punch this man in the, you literally punch this man in the throat, and this man just like can't gasp for anymore. He's shocked. He's just done. Like he just, he was on the ground burning. He just went, kaboom, and that was it. Like donezo. The other guard, the other uh, assassins see this and go, uh, actually, the one on the ground sees it. He goes, oh my gosh, what a madman. We gotta get out. I, 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 I'm getting out of here, and he's gonna run away. He's gone. He's dashing. He's gone. Too... No longer in sight. He he's gone. Um, and doing it now. It is Beresford's turn. All right, I gotta roll a save. For... Yep, gotta roll me a Christmas save. If it's even or or odd. Did the prone dude leave? Yeah, prone dude's yeah. left. He, prone dude's gone. So wait, what happens now? So, do you roll an even die, or, or so do, do me one d one hundred. If it's an even die, uh, you take the full effect. Oh no, no, the half effect. If it's an odd die, you take the full effect. Wait, so am I rolling a d one hundred or am yes. I rolling? Yes, you're rolling one d one hundred. For um, after the saving throw, after the concentration saving throw. So go ahead and do your con uh -huh. you, you, I mean, you're, you're not a con the charisma saving throw. I'm sorry, I can't talk. So I'm rolling. So I'm using my charisma saving throw. Correct? Yes. Yes. This is more like impacting your will. Like you, 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 the fight, you can do this. Twelve. It's okay. That works. Okay. So now roll the damage for the poison, and we're gonna see if it's gonna be super effective against you or not as effective. So what do I need to roll now? Now you do the one D100 and see if you're going an even number or an odd number. You get an even Eight. number. So good. It's not terrible. You're not deadly poisoned. You're just poisoned. So one D10 of damage. Oh, why didn't he, he have to roll D100? It's more die, more chance. That's all. Just throw it in game of chance. Uh, 1d10 of damage. From the poison. All right. I think I got the right one highlighted. But... Yes. 10 damage. So, like, you, you, you cough up a little bit of blood kind of thing. Because, like, you weren't, like... Expecting that, or like, oh my gosh! Now these guys are getting to you. Now, now indirectly, now they're just going to have the poison do the work. So now you got to get them before the poison beats you. So, and with that, with that being now, it's so it, it is uh, your turn still, Beersford. All right. Wait a minute, hang on. Can you hear that? I hear you saying, can you hear that? Okay, never mind. 
I was squeezing my hand just right to make it pop and everything, so I was trying to insinuate there was me popping my knuckles. I gotcha. Yep, you're like just you're snapping. <laughs> I'm like, okay, that's it. I've had enough. It's like, you're done, <laughs> All right, so the one that, the one that I've initially been fighting. Mm-hmm. You know what? I think. I wonder if I should put my hunter's mark on him. It probably it, it probably worth it. Get it's extra damage. You know what? I'm gonna mark him first. That's my bonus action. Okay, hunter's mark's on. All right. So let me do one thing first. Ba boom. Okay, got that done. All right. So now my unarmed strike. Okay. That is a... 20 hits? Not a 20, but it hits. Right, hits. All right, so let me check to see if the bonus unarmed strike we'll hit. Yep. actually hits. It does not. It does not. So go ahead and do that All damage right. for the uh, one strike. Six damage. Plus... The 1d8 from, from the mark. No, it's a 1d6. 1d6, right. 1. Alright, uh, you do have hockey. You know what? Let's add the hockey on top of it. Yeah, okay. Go for it. Alright, so that's 13 damage. 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 Um, he's on his last legs. Like, you, you hear his bones crack. You hear that, that hockey attack. He was like, boom! He was like, oh! And you can hear, like, his ribs crack when you just slammed your fist into him with your ho with, with your hockey. Um. And the best part is? You still got another round. You still got another round. <laughs> but I'm not done yet. <laughs> Let's do this next on home strike. That, that hits. Twenty-four total. That hits. Let me see if the uh, the bonus one hits too. The bonus one hits too. Yes, indeed. Do that damage. All right. So first, the official unarmed strike. Kills. Kills this man. Huh? You you finally kill this man. Oh, wait, hang on. I won't do the rest of it. We will make it official. Okay. So straight up, you're going to kill him, and then you're just going to beat a dead horse. <laughs> right, so plus three for the unarmed, uh, the bonus unarmed strike. And let's see how much the hunter's mark does on top of it. He's <laughs> just like, ah! It does five. You're so, beating a dead horse, lad. So... It's, Beerster just lost control, right? He's punching this dude. He's mad. He's angry. He's slaughtering. He's like you're sitting on top of him, sitting on there, and you're just like pummeling his face. And the dude is already dead, but you don't. But it's the poison affecting your mind. You're going, boom, 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 and then like Miku sees this, um. And the stranger on, on the roof sees this. The um, the Emily and the person sees this like that. You're going. You're being the snot out of this man. This guy goes. Oh, I've done my job. And he he's gonna try to escape. Give you guys an opportunity attack. So uh, Miku, go ahead and throw your sword. Uh, Wait, the, uh, the one that actually the one that actually poisoned me. Uh huh. All of you get one good shot at him. Go ahead and do whatever your best attack possible. You have to do a long range, though, Keegan. All right. I got you. Uh, yeah. So the one that's fleeing is the one... Uh, yes. Wait, so which one is... The, okay. one, the, one, the one that's so highlighted. The, other one, the one that actually poisoned me. Yeah. Yeah. Any advantage or anything? You, yeah, I'll, I'll give you advantage on it, too, because he's fleeing, and you're like... You, you're in the moment. Uh, you said the best attack? Your best attack possible. 
So Zengetsu pops out, probably gonna hit with Electro. Go ahead, Miku, do, do your damage. Mm. Seven. Uh. Go ahead and do your Electro on top of it. Do that 1d8. Two, so nine. Uh, what, what does Keegan or Bearshire want to do to them? Um, I'm debating on whether I want to use Blink or Firebolt. Well, if you blink, then, you, then you, you'll be able to block them in. You wouldn't be able to escape. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do Blink then. All right. Go ahead. Roll to hit. Uh, do that with advantage. Yeah, do that with advantage. Hey, Steven. Yes. All righty, 17. I don't see that snowball attack or anything like that anymore. Yeah, you don't have the snowball stuff anymore. Oh, because of the fact that I got rid yeah. of the wizard class? Yeah. Correct. Well, what about my uh, my fire star? That is, I should technically still have that, though. Yeah, you, you, it should still be on your sheet. I, I don't see it. That's odd. Let me see. Let me take a look. That should be still on there. Uh, Beersford. Yeah, it's not there anymore. That's really weird. Give me one second. I'll go ahead and put that on there for you. That's really weird. Uh, let's do that. Let's add name. Come on, you dumb whatever you are. Mer. Um... Custom option, edit, name, Firestar, uh, proficient, display as attack, activation, it is, an, it is an action, it is ranged, stat goes to your decks, 